situation is repeating itself in Zimbabwe because in Zimbabwe, it's slowed down now. Why has it slowed down? It's happened like it has happened like this before, where they ha where Zimbabwe, they start these hashtags. They've just got this base or this periods of activities where people are looking at okay let us let us get into action and, and let us put the government to task and you know they have this base of, of, of energy but then it stops you know um, one of the South the ministers when Zimbabwean lives matter hashtag started he actually said that we've seen this before we've seen these hashtags before they'll come out they'll, they'll come out people will go online they'll do ABC and then they'll fizzle out we are seeing it the ex exact same situation with the Zimbabwean Lives Matter situation, whereby it was it was gathering pace and momentum, but now it's um, it's gone quiet. It's going quiet again, and Zimbabwe is exactly where they were a few weeks ago, if not worse. And 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 South African, the South Africans are not helping matters anyway because they sent a delegation there la lately the ANC led by S Mahashli forgive me for, for the last word the way I'm saying it but from South Africa he went to, to Zimbabwe he never met the opposition they said it was uh, you know it, it was a, like an int not an intra but inter sort of a meeting uh, for, for the, these political parties and they never met the opposition. The same thing that happened with the previous delegation that went to Zimbabwe. They never met the opposition or other so uh, civil society organizations. They just meet the government. So they have the perception of the government. And even this, this, latest, organize, this latest delegation said, no, there, there, there is no crisis in Zimbabwe. They have challenges. Sugar quoting the truth. I, I, I get angry when, when I hear something like that. There's, there, there, there is a huge crisis going on in Zimbabwe. And these men and women from ANC are saying, no, there isn't a crisis, there are challenges. You know, these are revolutionary parties, the, the ANC, the, the ZANU-PF. Now, Zimbabwe needs a clean break from the ZANU-PF. Definitely they do. Because these revolutionary parties, now thank you for these revolutionary parties in Africa for fighting for freedom and rescuing us from the, from the colonizers. But that should be confined to history. This is 2020. We need to move on. We need to cut the umbilical cord of, of, of that revolution. I'm not saying that we should not, you know, we should not respect the fighters for the revolution but it is time to move on you know the world is not standing still and looking back at the revolution the the the, the colonial fight no you know africa must move forward it must have a new beginning you know it, it's all about the economy it's all about the technology it's all about the you know uh, education it's it's opening new new opportunities and uh, driving the country forward not looking back at the colonial fight now we have this problem in Africa I believe that needs to stop for instance Zimbabwe they need they, they need to stop military generals and uh, and, and the ZANPF and all these parties we had the same problem in Zambia even Malawi uh, and other so many other African nations that the, the the revolutionary parties political parties they seem to to have a, to in a, in essence capture the nation like okay we did this therefore you can't get rid of us we need a new generation of, of leaders and um, after all africa zimbabwe malawi uh, you talk of, of tanzania or whatever country 
we're not the only nations in this world that were colonized before. In fact, the whole wide world was colonized before, except for a few countries. You know, look at Asia, look at, well, you know, the, the, everywhere you go. But they have, they decided to move forward. But we are hung up with them. So Zimbabwe needs a clean break. They absolutely need a clean break. And South Africa is not helping out. You know, I, I think they're sugarcoating the issue in Zimbabwe. They're not facing them. And Zimbabweans do not need to stop. They need to keep going with this revolutionary, with this fight uh, for a better government to, to, to remove uh, Zanu Paif in, out of power and, 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 and Mnanagwa. Thank you for watching and we'll talk next time.